Dance macabre. Dance macabre. The dance of the dead. Gather round, friends. Let me tell you a tale. Tis a story of music and dance, of family and friends, of friendship and reunion, and of death. On the twelfth strike of dawn, every Hallow's Eve, the angel of death comes forth into this world with naught but a fiddle. He appears silently and swiftly and looks around the cemetery. The cool moonlight shines and bounces off the motionless graves. There is one thought on death's mind, one intention for the night, to wake the dead. Dance macabre, dance macabre, the dance of the dead. Death slowly pulls his bow across his fiddle and the eerie melody rings through the night. The ground begins to stir and slowly the dead stumble from their graves, blinking their tired eyes. They are drawn to the music. They are controlled by it. Death is the puppeteer and they are the puppets. But they don't mind. No, they are glad. The fiddle plays on as they slowly become livelier. They meet with old friends and dance and play, celebrating this night, this dance of the dead at the start of this day. Dance macabre. Dance macabre. The dance of the dead. Bye.
Of all the nights in the year, this is the only one they are allowed to return. At the rooster's cry, the light of the morning, the angel of death plays them back into their graves. Slowly they go back into the earth, not wanting to leave, but obediently doing so. They hold on to each other as long as they can, until death separates them again and again. They fall back asleep with good memories of the night, resting, waiting for Halloween to come again.